Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to Pflugerville Public Library Book Talk. Our first book today is Ivan the Terrier by Peter Catalanotto. In this fun picture book, Ivan, a cute little terrier dog, keeps interrupting the narrator as they're trying to read some classic fairy tales, such as Goldilocks and the Three Bears and the Three Little Pigs. Here, here we've got Goldilocks, and you can see Ivan coming up in the background. And then he runs up and disrupts the story. What does Ivan want? You'll have to read it to find out. This book is perfect for reading aloud and for those who want a really funny story. Next up, for our early readers, we have an example of an early reader nonfiction book. Squirrels by Derek Zobel is part of the Backyard Wildlife series. This book has lots of clearly written information about squirrels, accompanied by adorable full-color photographs, and glossary words are highlighted in bold. The Pflugerville Public Library has an extensive early reader nonfiction section to support growing readers in building their vocabulary and learning from context clues and more using high interest topics like animals, sports, and weather. If you have a young reader at home, be sure to check out this section. This time, our beginner chapter book is Hello Nebulon, the first book in the Galaxy Zack series by Ray O'Ryan and illustrated by Colin Jack. In this first book, Zack is nervous about leaving Earth and starting school on a new planet. This planet will have aliens from other worlds on it. What will Zack's classmates be like? What if some of them have tentacles? This book will resonate with kids who are anxious about moving or starting a new school. And if your child likes Zack's adventures, there's 16 more books in the series. For kids ready to move on to a longer chapter book this week, we're recommending The Season of Sticks Malone by Kekla Magoon. Brothers Caleb and Bobby Jean are resigned to spending a boring summer near their home in Sutton, Indiana, until their new neighbor, Sticks Malone, convinces them that they can do a great escalator trade. Trading small items up for bigger and bigger things. Can they pull off the ultimate trade by the end of summer? This book has earned a ton of starred reviews, as well as winning the Coretta Scott King and Hornbook Awards, making this a perfect summer read for our middle grade readers. For young graphic novel fans, we have Nico Bravo and the Hound of Hades by Mike Cavallero. Nico, his friends Lula, a sphinx, and Buck, a unicorn, all work at Vulcan Celestial Supply Shop. In this book, aside from Nico's regular chores as a shop clerk, he must prevent the warrior Eowulf from killing Cerebus and unleashing a zombie apocalypse. Of course, lots of zany antics happen along the way. This book is great for kids who love mythology, adventure, and humor. And it's got awesome illustrations. The sequel comes out at the end of August, and I can't wait to learn more about the Great Unicorn War. Young adult readers will enjoy Rebel Mechanics by Shanna Swenson. In this alternate reality book, the British are still in charge of the colonies in 1888 and have magical powers to back up their rule. However, there's a growing rebellion of underground mechanics, scientists, and more developing non-magical technology. When Verity Newton becomes a governess for a powerful ruling family, she's recruited to also become a spy for the rebel cause. This book is full of thrilling intrigue. Will Verity get caught? Will the rebellion succeed? You'll have to read it to find out. Our last book of the day is a memoir in graphic novel format. Guts by Raina Telgemeier recounts young Raina's struggle with anxiety. 
A lot of people struggle with anxiety, especially these days, and many don't realize the physical toll it can take and how it can be expressed in the body. In Raina's case, her anxiety caused her to have an upset stomach, and then she was so afraid of throwing up she didn't want to eat anything risky or go anywhere and possibly embarrass herself. It's comforting to learn that we all have fears, and this book is a humorous and accessible way to learn ways of addressing our anxiety and how things like therapy may help. It's an awesome book and it's very accessible to readers of all ages. That's all for this time. If you missed any of our summer book talks, you can find them archived on the Pflugerville Public Library's YouTube channel. Happy reading!